Welcome to this Google Apps screencast where we're going to take a look at how to enable offline Google Drive files. In order to do this you need to be working in the Chrome browser. So here I am in the Chrome browser. First part of this, the first step is to be signed into the Chrome browser. So if you're at a new tab page you might see a link up here that says you can sign in or no matter what web page you might be viewing you can go up here to settings which is the three little lines and come down about two-thirds of the way it says sign in to Chrome. So I'm going to click on that and I'm going to sign into Chrome. There are some benefits to being signed into the Chrome browser. This is separate than just signing into your regular Google account. If you sign into the Chrome browser, it says right here too, it, it'll store your bookmarks, your history, any other settings you make. So if you sign into Chrome browser on another computer, all these settings, all these bookmarks I've made will automatically show up. All right, so that's the first step, signing into the Chrome browser. Second step is you have to go to the Chrome Web Store and you can get to this by any new tab you launch. This is the new tab button up here. If you open a new tab, you're either looking at your apps that are available here within the browser. And these are just shortcuts that'll take me to those apps. Or you might be visiting your most visited or viewing your most visited web pages. So you can choose down here at the bottom if you're looking at your most visited web pages or your apps. So here on the apps page is the app uh, shortcut for the Chrome Web Store. So I'm going to go into Chrome Web Store. When the Chrome Web Store shows up, I'm going to go up to the search here and search for Google Drive. What we're going to do is install the Google Drive app within Chrome. So I did my search. Here, the first choice that comes up, this is Google Drive. It's from Google.com. There's the Google Drive logo, so I know this is the app I want to install. I hit Add to Chrome. And this will. This is telling me what it's going to be doing. It's going to be accessing my Google Drive data. That's fine. That's what I want to be able to do here. So what that's done now is it's added an app shortcut here on my apps page. So when I open my browser, if I want to get to Google Drive quickly, I can click this to get there. The reason we went and installed this is in order to use offline Google Drive files, this app needs to be here. So that's the first part. All right, let's go into Google Drive. So I'm in Google Drive. Over here on the left side, I go to More. And under the More area, there's a choice here for Offline. Again, you have to be in the Chrome browser. If you're in Safari or if you're in Firefox, Offline is not there. This only works in the Chrome browser. So I click on Offline. And it said here, my first step was to install the Drive Chrome app, which we just did. And now here's a big blue button that says Enable Offline. I'm going to click that. What this does is this stores now, just on this machine, just in this Chrome browser, this stores up to my 100 most recent files that I've been accessing or editing within Google Drive. So let's say I was working here in Google Drive and I go into one of my folders and I open up a document. As I'm editing within this document, it's saving like it normally does. But let's say, you know, a little later today, the internet goes out or Google Drive has some issues and I want to still be able to edit or work on some files. If I come into Drive and I go under the offline area, anything I've worked on recently will be here. So it's not everything, it's not a perfect solution, but at least gives you access to your 100 most recent individual files. You can edit or create documents, you can edit or create uh, presentations, you can only view spreadsheets. So your documents, your presentations, and your spreadsheets, your 100 most recent, will be at least viewable. You can edit documents and presentations from here. All right, so here's a little example of what working offline looks like. So I've launched Chrome. I have no internet connection right now. You can see my wireless is turned off. I do not have an internet cord connected. Maybe I'm traveling. Maybe I'm going to be on a plane. I don't want to pay for wireless. I launch the Chrome browser, the Chrome browser opens, and notice the apps page here, the new tab page, these are all grayed out because I can't access these because these were all on the internet, but Google Drive is still lit up, meaning because I've turned on offline access, I can go into Google Drive. It's going to say here at the top there's no connection detected, but when I go into Google Drive, I can only work here in this offline area. So here are some of the files that I worked on recently. I could click on these, open them up, edit them and those files will save. They'll save here on this machine. The next time that I have access to the internet it'll automatically take any changes I've made and add those into the files. You don't have to do any extra steps for that. You could create documents or presentations from scratch if you needed to 
and those will just save here on this machine until the next time I have internet access. Another indicator that you're working offline is this little lightning bolt. And if you mouse over, it says you are offline. The same thing will, or it'll show up in documents as well. Maybe if you lose internet connection for a brief second, you might notice that little lightning bolt up here at the top. Um, that just signals that you're working offline. You can still continue to work in the browser, still create documents, still create presentations, and they'll save up to your Google account once you have internet. That is how offline docs works. Thanks for watching.